Hey everybody, Spidercale back again, uh, back for another Bioshock 2 figure review. I've added another one to the collection and as you can see, today we'll be doing the big sister. Now, this arrived yesterday, which was quite surprising seeing as I actually ordered it the day before. So it arrived the very next day, which I was really pleased at. Came back from work and there's Tracy saying, oh you've got a package here. <laughs> nice one. Even she recognised what it was, she said, um, I think I know what this is, I can recognise the packaging underneath. So, yeah, um, I'd been to Forbidden Planet, and I was going to buy it uh, last week or something, but the only ones that they do is the, the big sister with the little sister, which I didn't want, as I planned to get the little sister double pack with Eleanor. Um, and I didn't really want another little sister, especially seeing Japan about, uh, almost about £10 more just for the little sister. I, I just don't see the point. Um, so I had to get this one off online, off Amazon. I actually got a really good deal. I think it was about... £12 including postage and packaging for, for the big sister, which I was, was really quite pleased with. Um, as I really am very keen to continue my collection on these on these figures. Um, so yeah, so this arrived yesterday. I was going to do uh, a whole unboxing and the, um, you know, the packaging and stuff like that. But I was at a gig last night over in Sheffield, went to see Ailstorm and Sabaton which was a fantastic gig, so I just did not get the chance, and I got quite impatient and just thought, yeah, balls, I'm just going to open it. So, <laughs> so I did, and um, I just wanted to get it open and have a look. So, let's get rid of the other guys, and then we'll focus on Big Sister. Okay, and we're back with the Big Sister, and I really, really like this figure. I um, wasn't too sure if I was going to, I, I said before in the, in, I think it was the Big Daddy or Subject Delta review, I can't remember which, about the size comparison. I wasn't sure if Big Sister was going to be the same sort of size, but she actually fits in very nicely. Um, I'll just demonstrate that again later. On the back of the packaging it says, Big Sisters are Rapture's fiercest predators. Despite being covered in armour, they possess deadly agility and can strike from anywhere. Charged with protecting Little Sisters, Big Sisters keep an eye on all of the Adam in Rapture and punish anyone that disrupts the balance. Able to throw objects telekinetically, leap off walls, Oh, hear me more. Oh, sorry. Leap off walls for powerful melee blows, throw fireballs, execute devastating charge attacks, and even extract Adam directly from living splices. Big sisters are the worst nightmare of anyone unlucky enough to draw their ire. Now that actually at the back there does say ire. Uh, let me just show you that. Where am I? There. It does say ire. Now that could easily mean ire, or it could be the mistype and mean fire. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just pointing it out, you know. Um, but yeah, I really, I really like this figure. Although I don't like it as much as the others. I can't really say why. Um, I'm not entirely sure myself. I, I do love it. I really, really recommend it, and I do really like it. But not as much as the other guys. I do have a couple of things with it that I'm not too, too keen on. But we'll do a, we'll do a. a, a a close up on it. Um, really, really good detail. I, I, I say that with every single Bioshock review. Just open the side body so I can see what I'm doing. I say that with every single Bioshock review that the detail is phenomenal. And it really is. Every single one. I mean, there's lots of little things on this. There's one thing that I hadn't noticed before, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, one point is this is very, very. Let me just tighten this up. It's very, very soft. When I took it out, and I was kind of like moving it around and so on, this actually bent upwards, and it stuck that way. So I'd say be extremely careful with this. I think that could snap very, very easily. But everything else about it is fantastic, really well detailed. Um, a couple of points that I want to show off um, that I hadn't noticed before. On the, the cage, I love the ribbons here. Like it's like it's like it's been decorated by the little sisters while they're being carried around, and also the drawings on her tank, just going round where they could probably reach, while they're in the tank, uh, while they're in the cage. Sorry, and then in here, I don't know how well you're going to see this. There we go, a little drawing, little sisters with the big sister. I really, really like this. I really like this. I really do. Um, that is something I, I I opened it and I showed Tracy and even and like we were both like that is really really cool so you can see it there but um just to go through some of the detail I mean come on focus focus hello focus there we go 
just to go in through some of the detail, I've always liked the round heads of the, the big sisters there. Um, and going down and through huge, um, huge, huge needle. It's no wonder they can extract Adam from living splices as well. And her harpoon gun on this side. And just, again, going through the detail in there. Little diver belt. I mean, she's not as weighed down as some of the other big daddies are. But that's obviously, she's heavily armoured but very agile. And just bits of armour around there. So the cat's going mad outside there. I don't know if you can hear him. Um, and all the way through there. And at the back. And this is something I noticed as well. And I'm quite, quite intrigued at this. The leg will bend. And it will... Oh no, sorry, it's not there. It's the, the ankle. The ankle will kind of bend. And that metal piece here, you can well, it's not metal, it's plastic. But that piece there, as you can see, bends with it. And now that's not really very soft very soft plastic, it's um well it, it is quite soft there, it's, it's quite pliable. But I just I don't know, I get the feeling if you were to do this too much, maybe that would wear. You know, there's a lot of things about this where you've got to be very careful with it. Because it just it's it's a lot more delicate, I think, than the others. I think that's maybe one thing that puts me off, you know. Um in terms of articulation as well, this is one thing that got me. Let me just put it back up there and straighten this camera up a bit. In terms of articulation as well, um, head will rotate, pretty much 360, yeah it will rotate 360. Um, this arm will go out of the shoulder, back as far as the tank will let you, so you can't really see that, back as far as the tank will let you, and forward. It will also bend at the elbow, oh god sorry you can't really see this very well, it will bend at the elbow. Um, and the wrist will move. Not very much wrist movement there. That's pretty much all you can get. But it will move and it will twist. Now this arm will move at the shoulder, up and down, but it won't bend at the arm, at the elbow. It'll rotate at the elbow, but it will not bend. Uh, the wrist again will move even less than the other one, but it will move. But yeah, that kind of bugs me as well, that that I can't see why they haven't put one in as well. There's nothing there that could stop. There's nothing that could stop them putting a, a bend in there. I, I don't know. That's kind of. It's a bit weird. Um, I mean, considering she's supposed to be the most agile, and she's actually got less articulation than even the the big daddy bouncer. You know, it's it's a bit. You know, uh, it's a bit weird. Her legs will move quite far out. They'll move, so you can have a sit down if you wanted to. <laughs> you know, she's having a rest. I don't know. Um, oh hell, I just, I just lost the, the weight. Luckily, I think that's just going to peg on. That's the first time it's ever happened. Now, that again just goes to, to show how delicate this thing is. Even the little sisters aren't as delicate as this thing. Now, um, I, I don't think I'll be moving this one very much. Um, knee will bend, just like so on both, and as I said before the ankle will bend. No rotation, but obviously because of the kind of the calipers, I suppose you could call them, just there. Uh, so there we go. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Another thing as well is with this, I mean this, this I can understand this, but with the tank on the back she's very very back heavy, but she's very very small feet so it's very hard to get a stud. Especially, I mean, the little sisters will go into the back there. They will get carried. They can get carried around. But once you do that, there is no way of securing her down so she doesn't fall. I actually have to have a position like that propped up against the wall, which, again, can't be helped. But what I usually do in situations like that is I would put blue tack on the bottom of the feet to secure them down so that they can't move. But she actually has hollow feet there, so you can't even do that. So that's a bit of a pain. However, overall, as I've said and I've said before, I've got my flaws with it, but I do still highly recommend it. She's a really, really good figure, and just for the the, the drawings on the side here and like the the, the detail on her, um, she's still very much worth a buy. Um, but I'm, I will say she's my least favourite of them all. 
I mean, I'm quite surprised that I've, I've always said I wasn't too sure about her. I wasn't uh, undenied about getting her, and then undenied about how she would fit in with the others. But she, she is worth it. She's definitely worth it. Oh, sorry, I had some coffee. My throat's killing me. I was screaming all last night. <laughs> Uh, oh, love it. Anyway, sorry. I'll just bring in the others and then we can compare the size. And there we go. And as I said before, I wasn't too sure how Big Sister was going to fit in in this group, how she was going to look. But pretty much the same size as Subject Delta. Maybe a bit shorter by the head, but obviously the tank makes her look a lot bigger. I think that's one thing that gives this this figure the, the height. You've got the tank there. I mean, if you take away that tank, she's she's not that tall at all but and as far as the big daddy bouncer pretty much the same so she is actually I mean obviously she's a lot thinner but it's it's, it's a big sister you know so obviously it, and it does work well I, I was actually quite pleasantly surprised when I saw that um, but there we go um, so that's pretty much it I'd, I'd say if you can if, you, if you're a fan of Bioshock 2 you, you're gonna want to get a big sister you know it's it's she was one of the fundamental parts I mean, that was one thing that surprised me with the game. When the game was first announced, I always was led to believe that the big sister, it was one big sister. You know, that was how the trailer sold it, that was how the, the, the announcement sold it, that there was one old little sister of Rapture that was rescued that went back and became the big sister. And I thought that you'd end up fighting her a few times, but never quite defeating her. You know, you'd, you'd kind of knock her and she'd run off and then she'd come back. I was very surprised when I played the game to find that there was actually a lot of Little Sisters. Um, I th really did think it was just going to be one that came back for revenge, you know, sort of thing. Uh, missed the whole life. That was what I thought it was going to be. And then when more and more started turning up, I thought, oh, that's, that's weird. I, you know, there's obviously more than one. But it still made sense, you know, but um, that was one thing that kind of threw me with the game. But anyway. If you're a fan of Bioshock 2, then get the figure, pretty much. I'd, and I plan on getting a lot more of these things. They're all, I mean, the the more you get as well, the more it grows. And you can just see there, it's just, it's a fantastic kind of display. It really is. So anyway, I'm going to get going. Take care, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the review, and I will see you again soon. Take care.